My name is Sindonia Brethart. I'm an associate professor with the Department of Biology and Wildlife and the Institute of Arctic Biology at UAF. My position is a little different than some faculty members because of my responsibility at Tulick Field Station, which is located in the northern foothills of the Brooks Range, um, about 350 miles from Fairbanks. I started working up there as a researcher, uh, first as a postdoc and then later as a faculty member. So I've done research in plant and ecosystem ecology up there for about 20 years. I would describe myself as an ecosystem ecologist, but my focus is really on the plants and how different plant species affect the cycling of carbon and nitrogen. One great thing about working in the Arctic in general is that because there are so many different countries that have interest in the Arctic, it's actually nice that you can have this international collaboration in a way. Most of the people who work at Tulick Field Station are not based in the Arctic. And our clientele is, it's a national clientele, that's, that's why we are, you know, one of North America's premier Arctic field stations because we attract people from all across the country and actually across the world. I think Arctic science in itself is very interdisciplinary simply by virtue of the fact that you have to consider all different aspects of the North if you're, if you're working on that. There's a very strong need for research into how people can adapt to living with climate change because one of the things that's really clear is that the Earth, the, the amount of carbon that we've already put into the atmosphere from our anthropogenic activities and from natural sources is going to cause warming even if we stopped emissions tomorrow. And particularly in the north where a lot of our infrastructure is on frozen ground and where climate change is expected to be quite rapid, thinking about how to help people deal with the changes, is that's a really big need for research, both in a social and a sort of physical and biological frame of mind.